I think this is okay. our last, yeah. either last hand of the night or last two hands of the night. They've been doing two bomb pots, but we'll see what happens. So we're going to be doing a PLO bomb pot. Oh, we're doing four. Oh, we're doing three. I uh, read uh, the uh, three as a four on, on our producer's hand. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a three. Yeah, producer Victor. <laughs> nice. Shout out to Victor. Shout out to Victor. Wow, is that an open-ended straight flush draw for Seti? It is an open-ended yeah. straight flush with the, with the seven on the other side and a flopped flush. Although only nine high. Although this is the problem with PLO is that depending on how much you play, and Zach's gonna wake up with the king high flush, which still again king high flush is not feeling good. No, not at all. And, and you can see um, that Seti is actually gonna bet out here, which what I was gonna say is the problem with PLO is when you have. This kind of hand, you feel like you might get there. But the thing is, a lot of people are going to have your outs. Mark actually calls here with a uh, middle set, which is another, again, going back to that out thing, is that middle set with nothing on the other board is often not going to be good. As we see, Jacob has bottom trips here on the 7-3-3 board. Yeah, this one looks like it's going to be a lot more action than the last one, which uh, Preston just took down with one one bet. Yeah, no, this one's going to be insane. Uh, and this is the strange spot with strange spot with PLO2 is like, you can get Jacob to fold this three uh, because people are going to overvalue their hand on the other side. And we're going to see Alex with the nut flush. Alex flops the nut flush on the queen high board. So, Pocket Ten's looking to pair the board. No one has anything on this. Oh, wow. Pocket Ten's pairs the board in, in one way. <laughs> Quads for Mark here. That is a form of pairing the board, isn't it? It definitely is. The crazy thing is that uh, Seti still has some outs. He could hit the, uh, I don't know if they're both live, but the Jack of Diamonds or the Seven of Diamonds would give him qua uh, straight flush over quads. They are both live. Which is crazy. Said he does have I don't 6%. want that for Mark, but I'm not. I I would be hyped if it happened. I don't want it crazy. for Mark, but I want it for the stream. And, and <laughs> like I said, um, we you might see a three fold, and it does in uh, the three folded from Jacob there, and you can't blame it. Yeah, you you. Uh, I mean, we've only got a three on this board. And you're not happy. And Mark has the nuts, but Alex is actually chopping right now. Yeah, he's got his aces playing on the other board, I believe. No more tens, but a five would give Mark the straight, which would give him a scooper. And he's definitely going to be thinking that he's good when he has quads. And that three is probably going to have Jacob kicking a bit because he knows he had the only three. Yeah, but the problem is that... Oh, it went pot and call. Yeah, it looks like a chop. Yeah, the problem with having only a three is that you can be against pocket sevens, pocket queens, or even pocket nines that make it to the river. 